and welcome to this computer guy flash tutorial. Um, I know I haven't done a video in about two weeks. That's just because I haven't been like I haven't been able to do it last week. So we'll be continuing now, and we're back on track. So there's a few things we need to uh, sort out before we continue anything. It's a few mistakes I made last episode, and that's it. This is completely wrong. It's not what you're supposed to put. So delete that bit. And uh, put a colon here, put boolean, and then equals false. That's the way it's supposed to be, but I put it the wrong way around, so you probably just get like a, a ton of errors down here. So anyway, let's get back to it. There's still quite a lot of things to sort out since I made quite a lot of mistakes last video, so we're going to sort those out first. Uh, so first we're going to create a new layer. Um, now you're going to go onto your layer 2 and you're going to copy this you're going to copy it, yeah <laughs> and then you're going to get rid of it and you're going to go onto your top layer here and paste it there instead that means it's available to the whole document now we're going to go to our frame 2 again and we're going to double click on our box and we're going to go to the end frame where our key and stuff is now what you're going to do is we are uh, uh, click on your layer 1 here right click on the stage and click copy go back into your scene 1 uh, go make it make a new frame press F7 to make uh, blank ones go into your bottom layer right click and paste go back double click come over here now click on your layer 2 instead right click copy go to the end this time go on your layer 2, right click, paste, you can drag it back down. Finally we're going to go back one more time, we're going to go into our box again, go to the end, go in here. Uh, sorry, no, um, we're going to remove these frames. So you're going to press shift at the top one and shift at the bottom one. And you're going to right click and click remove frames because we don't need those anymore. And we can get rid of those for now. So now we've sorted this stuff out. Uh, we need to put our stop function here. And then we're going to, sorry, going to go back into the box. And at the end, press F9. Uh, here's where it's we have to add tell our movie clip to go to the next frame on the stage not itself because if you just put next frame like that it does the next frame in the uh, movie clip and that won't be good because it'll just go back to the beginning we don't want that so we want to put movie clip the no, movie clip uh, one of these then put root and then dot next frame basically what that's saying is that it's telling the stage out here to go to the next frame which is now our key box uh, check the instance name, that's key for door so now we're going to go down here and we're going to do key for door dot add even listener event dot click sorry um then you're gonna want to put um, a f the function name so we're just gonna put a uh, key acquired I'm not sure that's how you spell acquired but uh, I don't know uh, and then we're gonna finish that off if they go down we're gonna put function key acquired we're gonna go event mouse event void and then we're going to do can you open door equals true and that's saying that the boolean variable that we were, that we uh, wrote here was originally false but now when we click the key it's true meaning that the door will now work when we add the script for it and we want we don't want the key to be visible anymore so we're just going to put key for door dot visible equals false. 
and that means you won't be able to see it anymore. Um, then we want the instance name for our back button, which is go back to original. So we're just going to go to our action script here. Um, we can go back to original. Original. Do your usual event listeners. And do your function. Like that. And we're just going to do a simple prev frame. Meaning that's the opposite of next frame. It's just saying go back to the previous frame. Now on here we have our door. We're going to go to the action script for our door. I'm just going to put door, uh, yeah, it's the usual, there's quite a lot of event listeners that you have to do. Uh, well, open door. <laughs> we have function, open door, event, mouse, event. Here's where we learn our if statements. Uh, basically, it just it's part of like flash checking to see if something is is what you define if you know what I mean so you do if um, can you open door equals equals so if if can you open door is equal to true which it will be if you click the key uh, we're just going to do a go to and stop we're just going to go back to the title screen. That's for now. Uh, now we're going to close this up. And now we're going to test it out. So now it's going to open up. We're going to take our key. We're going to go back out. Click our door. And it goes back to the beginning. So that's that for now.